people, and I've worked with a lot of people that think they're microchipped. To be honest with you, we're just not finding it. Um, it, is, it does exist, and it is happening. I've worked with James Walberg, who has made the news. Um, he does have something in him that looks like it's probably a chip. Uh, Jesse Dalton, I'll let him introduce himself professionally, but uh, I have frequency scanned him. He is lighting up in some certain spots. He's got some radiologic evidence of being chipped and has a little bit different take on things and, uh, and actually has some disappointment. Well, thank, uh, thank Dr. Hall for inviting me over to, uh, to speak with you all and uh, to see and hear all your experiences. Um, all I can say is, wow. Um, I never fathomed hearing the experiences that each and every one of you are going through. A little bit about my background. I'm a retired Sacramento City firefighter paramedic. I've been in uh, emergency medical services uh, quite some time for over, over a decade. This is a general frequency counter that is picking up uh, the transmission frequency off of the right mandib mandibular area of Jesse Beltran. To the point, Bull Greitz says, has the expression, if the flak is heavy, you know you're over the target. Jesse, <laughs> 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 ahead. A couple questions and one comment to make it with. Uh, you may be one of the rare people that has an implant um, that is still, uh, I don't want to say it's wonderful, <laughs> but it, it hasn't that, been wonderful. That, I know. <laughs> I say that in the sense that something like that, that can, and this is what we've told Jimmy Walbert too, is that something like that, if it can be removed and definitively identified, you know, that's concrete proof. See which way they go with this. Dr. Hall, what did you yeah. use to scan? Yeah. Bravo for what you. JM20 Pro, Bravo. general frequency scanner, uh, JM20 uh, digital frequency reader in an infrared unit. It's the same RF scanners that uh, Jimmy Walbert's investigator used, and Jimmy Walbert's investigator is by the name of uh, William Taylor. He's based on the East Coast, out of Florida. He's somebody that was involved in the Karen Silkwood case and also in uh, the, uh, uh, the, the Ollie North case, uh, blanking on the name for it, where the died ran Contra scandal. He was involved in those investigations. And uh, we, we looked at the data that uh, we got from him. Jimmy Silkwood sent it to us. John went out and purchased the same equipment. Now, obviously, but I think the fact that you know he scanned yeah, one thing you, will, you, both Jimmy. The thing that I would say is that both Jimmy Walbert and Jesse have had positive frequency scans. They've also got positive scans on uh, an imaging study, being an X-ray, MRI, CT scan, and I, I feel that's significant. Yeah, I would love to have you guys have a scan someone like before you be going. Well, the up. frequency that hit on him is a uh, was between 124 and 134. That's Kil kilohertz. If I remember, that's the same it was on Jimmy too. Yeah, and it is. That is the only thing we can go by is what's published, and that is the published transmitting frequency for Verichip. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.